Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Kingdom of Atham. Fight and survive in the sandbox world, build your home, and dominate your enemies or your friends. Building, crafting, survival, RPG. Um, yes, please. Uh, it's Right now it's on Steam, and it is normally $20, uh, but right now it's on sale for $15 until January 14th. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. And we got all kinds of options here. Strength. I'm just going to mouse over these really quickly. If you want to read everything about them, go ahead and uh, pause the video. I just want to get going. I've already read them all. So um, we're going to start a male character. I do like agility for the stamina. Uh, I think a little bit of toughness and strength. And then um, we'll go with five agility. Uh, stamina was my um, was my Achilles heel uh, when I was playing last time. So uh, I did do a test game. Played for like, you know, about an hour or so. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um, all right, that looks like a normal old dude. And you could be um, savage, human, or dryad. Obviously, I'm a human. And let's get started. Start game. Uh, finish creating your new character. Yes. Yes, I am finished creating my new character. Guardian's Wisdom. The darkness is not your friend, champion. Use a torch. Okay. Uh, there are multiple schools of magic. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the starting area. So I am playing single player, but um, just so you know, there's like servers and stuff. It's like, um, you know, it's, it's a multiplayer game as well. You can play single player, you can play multiplayer. And as far as I can tell, I am not on a, I'm not on like a server. I'm really, truly single player here, which is awesome. Uh, I really, really love that. All right. So our first quest, we got to talk to this dude. What's up? How's it going? As a construct of the elders, you are charged with bringing order to these ravaged lands. To further assist you, the elders have given you um, given you a scribe that will... Yeah, it's basically like a quest journal thing. Uh, blessed with knowledge above mere mortals. Uh, give me a bunch of stuff. Okay, very good. Um, I really appreciate these survival games to start off with like, you know, a tutorial type thing. Or like a starting, like do this, do that. Really does help. It's not really needed once you've played the game for like a little while, but it's really nice for the first time you play. So I'm going to drag uh, my food and drink onto the hot bar, as well as my stone spear. Okay. And I think everything in this game wants to kill you, at least in the starting area, but it's got a little bit of RP MMORPG to it. Uh, if I get attacked, I can drag them over here and these guards will uh, save me. So, all right. The first thing I need to do is collect some fiber. So we're going to come over here and what you're looking for, for five are these, these, Oh, what is that? Collect wood. Oh, I didn't know there'd be actually wood on the ground. Um, also you can collect mushrooms. They're good for stuff. I'll show you that in a minute. But what we're going to be looking for is these, yeah, the fiber bushes, they really stick out. I can see them from here. See those right there. Those are the fiber bushes. All right. So let's come over here and grab some. I'm just going to grab all these mushrooms. There we go. And um, we got to collect 80 fiber. So let's do that. There we go. Some fiber here. Try and avoid everything. <laughs> I've gotten killed by a lot of stuff, um, including crabs. So, uh, okay. So, yeah. So here's the mushrooms, okay? These mushrooms, each mushroom gives you two hunger and one other thing. Uh, that's hit points. That's EP, which is energy points. That's MP, which is magic points. Uh, the green energy bar goes up pretty slowly, but if you press X to sit down, it goes up a little faster. So, and the, the fights that I have lost, I have lost because I ran out of energy. So I'd be trying to block and then all of a sudden my energy would be gone. And I, you know, just, I just basically run back to the, um, to the guards. Well, I, actually I died a few times before I realized he could run to the guards. So, all right. Yeah. This, this, uh, this does seem like a much easier area. I went the other way when I did my test game and that was, um, that was rough, man. Got killed by a wolf, got killed by crabs and i ended up killing a crab and it like took me down to like no hit points and then one of his buddies jumped in after he was dead and finished me off so okay there is no first person yet uh, i'm gonna ask the developers though if they can if that's possible because um uh first person can be very helpful especially once you once you get buildings and you're gonna be building a base like being in third person in a base can be very very bad uh, uh what game was i just, uh breakwater has that issue like when you when you go in a base in third person, it's just a nightmare. All right, so a few more of these, and I should be good to go. Let's come on over here. I haven't explored past this area, but this game seems really freaking cool. And I really like RPG elements in my uh, in my survival games. And honestly, the reason for that is it just 
adds another layer, you know? It just adds another layer. You gotta be careful, though. If you put too much RPG, it starts to be more RPG than survival. It's a, yeah, it's a balanced thing. But, um, yeah. I do like RPG elements. I mean, like, Seven Days to Die, which is my favorite, like, survival game ever, has very strong RPG elements with its experience and picking of perks and things like that, so... Alrighty, so we are just about there. One more thing, and we should have all of our all of our fiber for the quest, and then we'll get the next quest, which is craft a rope. So we will go ahead and craft four rope. And while we're crafting rope, uh, I think I'll start chopping down a tree. Because why not? There we go. Oh, it's an apple tree. Cool. Alright, so now it wants me to make uh, a bunch of armor. So I'll make the fiber armor. There we go. I won't chop down this tree completely because um, I'm about to get a quest that wants me to chop down a bunch of trees. So I'm just going to kind of warm these trees up a little bit. Get them, get them ready. I don't chop down the big trees because they take for freaking ever. All right, so we're going to chop. Now, uh, actually, harvesting in this game does take stamina. It doesn't take stamina in a lot of other survival games, but in this game it does. And your, and your energy, it's not stamina, it's energy. But your energy will go up very slowly, so... All right, so now it wants me to consume apples, so I will t do that right now. Okay, F there is food spoilage, and thank you, game. Thank you, thank you, thank you for putting the food spoilage in the in the bar. Like, I, I drives me nuts with survival games when there's spoilage and you don't know what the spoilage is. All right, here we go. And now we got to chop down some trees. So we got to chop down six trees and mine six stone nodes. So as you can see, as I'm chopping down trees, I am getting wood of some kind um, and apples. And let's take a look at that wood. Branches and wood. And there's an auto sort here, which I don't really know how it auto sorts, but I don't know. Um, the inventory is a little weird because, uh, you know, you got to scroll down. There's not a lot of room here for inventory stuff. I, I'd like the inventory window to maybe be a little bit bigger, but we'll see. we'll see where it goes. You do have experience at the bottom right below my hot bar. And I do have um, a weight limit. So, yeah. Let's grab this one here. I really like the idea of sitting down for energy. It reminds me of EverQuest 1 where you used to meditate to get your mana back. That was really cool. Well, maybe it was better in my in my imagination. <laughs> maybe it's better in my, in my, you know... Yeah, my imagination. My, um, what's, what's, there's a word. My nostalgia. My nostalgia goggles. So... All right, now we're really low on energy, so I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Do the um, do these go bad? Yes, they do. Okay. All right. If these go bad, I should probably just eat them. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use them for potion making or in food recipes, but they're going to be long, long spoiled before then. All right, this is the last tree that I need to knock down. So let's do that. And then we're going to sit down. I'm going to show you something else that's really dope about this game. All right, come on. Come down, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Dennis, you can do it. There you go, good job. All right, so we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna show you something else awesome. Check this out. Professions. We've got gathering professions. We've got crafting professions. We've got combat professions. We've got magic, pyromancy, frostweaver, stormcaller, banecaster, diviner, evocator. Evocator, am I saying that right? Evocator? I don't know. Anyway, um, summoning stuff? I mean, come on, dude. This is... Oof. Oh, boy. I'm getting chills just thinking about the possibilities, honestly. And you do get, like, um, experience from doing different things. So it's a learn-by-doing type thing, which I'm always a fan of. All right. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for some stone. And we happen to find some boulders right here. This takes a little bit of time, though, because each boulder you break up, it's just there's just like another boulder on top of it. It's just like a bunch of boulders, like kind of stacked. Oh, I have no energy. All right, let's go ahead and sit down. Does um time not pass when my when my inventory is open? No, it does. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's just go ahead and eat the rest of these mushrooms. So when you break a boulder, like there'll be another boulder on top of it, and then another one on top of that, and like there's like three or four boulders on top of each other. So let's just um I'd like to break one for you guys, and I can do the rest off camera. Uh, so let's get up. Maybe we have enough now, enough stamina. All right, there we go. See, it broke, but it didn't count. There's more boulders underneath it. And the things we get for that is flint and stone. Went ahead and made myself a bow and some arrows, which is pretty cool. And you can actually make the spellcasting stuff from the jump, which has me a little bit concerned because 
I'm going mainly agility, but now I kind of want to do spell stuff. So I don't, I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to do here. I can make um, fire staff, ice. Sta well, I guess I can't make them yet. I need the gems. Simple gem combining the gem station um, used to create equipment and magic. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to get those gems from yet. So I guess maybe I can't do that stuff just yet. But I'm assuming I'll be able to do it pretty soon because, um, you know, it would kind of suck if you had to wait till like mid game to do magic. But all right, we need to craft a tier one building plan. All right, so let's do that now. There we go. And uh, I'm missing fiber. All right, fair enough. I, I don't know where a good place to build would be. So I guess I'm just going to build here in the tier one starting area. So I don't have to worry about like, you know, things kicking my ass. And then, you know, maybe I can move around or make outposts or whatever and kind of see where we go from there. You know, whenever you first start these games, you always build in the newbie area because it's like, you don't really know, you know, I don't know what a good place to build is. What, what do I know? It's my, it's my first day. Uh, so building plan. There we go. And I, I guess I'll just build right here. I don't know. Is there any water around? Water might be something I'd like to uh, kind of take a look at. Um, tools, uh, stone hammer. There we go. And I'm thinking there's some water down there. Uh, oh boy. No, I don't see any water down there. So I'm not really sure you get water from. That's the only thing, but whatever. I'm just going to build right here. It seems like an open spot. So, all right. What we're going to do now is we are going to take our building plan and we are going to build with it. We're going to build with our building plan. If you hold down right click, there you go. There's all the stuff. Okay. I'm going to start with some foundations. And oh, no building zone. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to find a building zone. That's interesting. All right, I was up there. I came down this hill and I press M for the map. I'm going to try and build around this area. Although I am starting to see wolves and I don't think I want to screw with any wolves, but I'd also like to build near water. I don't even know if you can like take water or the yeah, I have no idea how it works. Maybe maybe being close to the water doesn't even do anything for you. I don't know. But uh why is there a torch out here? Oh, that's not a torch, it's a mushroom. Okay, so we got some water over here and some more wolves. I'm just going to try and uh, avoid the wolves. I don't have any um, guards or anything to run to. If I die, i got to come out and get my stuff. So, and if I get attacked by a wolf, I might be in some bad, bad shape here. But, uh, I don't know. This seems like a pretty dumb place to build <laughs> with all the wolves. But, yeah, whatever. I'll just build here to hell of it. Uh, you know what I can do? I can save. That's right. Forgot I could save. There we go. It's not multiplayer. Or it's, it's it's not. I'm not on multiplayer, so. There we go. Not enough resources. What? I got enough resources. Shut up. Alright. Uh, we'll build just. Can I um, raise it? Uh, place building object. Mouse wheel. Rotate. Control mouse wheel. Precise rotation. Change height. is shift. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for that. There we go. Um, wait, do they not snap in with each other? Oh, that's weird. It snaps in. Oh, there we go. I sat in a bad spot. All right, you know what? Before we do anything, let's make a stairway, a ramp. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know how many resources I have. I, sh I should probably look. Oh, I've, wait, is it branches or is it wood? Hold on, let's take a look. That is, oh, it's wood, okay. Right. right there. You know what? In the interest of science, let's see what we get back when we break it. Uh, where's my hammer? I know I, I think I'm assuming I need the hammer to break it. So let's see. Five. Uh, what the hell is that? 500. Oh, 500 defense. Okay. Uh, deconstruct or upgrade. Okay. Deconstruct. Um, I got eight back. Is that like half? That's like half, right? No, actually, wait, eight. I thought that was like all of it. Nope. It's a little bit more than half. All right, cool. Very good. Now let's build this right here. 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 And that'll be good for the time being. And then we got to make a door frame. Wall door frame. That's a door frame? That doesn't look like a door. Did I choose something wrong? No. That was a window frame. Okay, I was going to say. Door frame. And uh, so is that the outside? That I think that's the outside. And that's the inside, right? 
That looks like an outside. Yeah, that's outside for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is going to be a one by three for the, you know, for the beginning. So, all right. And then we'll go with a window. And we'll put a window here, here. Come on. Oh, not enough resources. Okay. Let's chop some more trees. You know, I realized it wants me to put down seven walls. So this place is not going to be big enough. Um, so I put down some more foundations, gathered some more stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and put down the walls now. Uh, wall, please. Yep. There we go. Um, go. Kind of wish windows counted as walls because I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna be able to put in enough windows now, which is kind of a bummer. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this out, and we are going to make this a wall. There we go, and one more wall. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'll put one right here. Oh, do I not have enough resources? Whoa, I went through all that wood already? My goodness. Thought I had a good amount of wood. I guess not. Let's go chop some more. Gotta watch out for those wolves. I gotta find out if trees grow back, if I have to plant them, how any of that stuff works. Can you repair tools? Stuff like that. Well, trees do grow back. I think someone said between 15 and 30 minutes or something. So that's good to know because I am deforesting the hell out of this place. Also, I remembered to put on my clothes. <laughs> I made those clothes earlier. I just never put them on. So, I think we've got enough wood to probably finish this quest. Let's see. Uh, I've got a decent amount, but there are a lot of wolves around. I I'd like to have a place to spawn before I try and fight anything like a wolf. So, we will see how that goes. Alright, so six. And we need one more wall. Um, I'll put it right here. Okay. And then we need um, windows. Come on. Damn it! Damn it, Bobby. There we go. Six windows, please. And please face the right way. Thank you. Please face the right way. Rotate. There we go. All right. And then we will need ceiling pieces. Okay. So I'm just going to use regular old ceiling pieces. I'm not getting fancy or anything like that. Um, I would like them to go... Yeah, that looks good to me. Four ceiling pieces and seven walls with a door. Uh, two, four, six. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they did the math. <laughs> Good for them. Okay. But that's without any, like, you know, without any windows. Who wants to live without windows? All right. So we need a little bit more wood, and then we will be good to go. Um, we need to uh, build and place a door. Craft a simple door lock. All right. So door locks are a multiplayer thing. I don't really need to do it, but I'm going to have to do it for this quest. So, it is what it is. All right, I've got a few points here to spend. And I think I'm going to go with one in intelligence and one in toughness. All right. And then uh, my professions are going up automatically. Uh, so, you don't really do anything for these. They just go up and you, you kind of get better at them. Also, I redesigned the house a little bit. Just a little bit. Right here. That's the front porch now. A little different there. And we are now going to build and place a door. Okay. And then a door lock. Is that like in here somewhere? Or do I have to actually build that? Craft this. Yeah, that's just craft, not build. Okay. So we need a door lock. Let's take a look really quick. Uh, land claim. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. Fish traps. Oh, a bed. Workstation, stone key, simple door lock. All right, and I'm assuming I just put that on my hotbar to place it. All right, seven. No, wait. Oh, okay. Hold on. There we go. All right, now I've got a lock on my door. Craft a workstation, place a workstation. Okay, I should be able to do that. Um, well, I can't because I don't have enough rope yet. Um, I have been grabbing the plant fiber, but I don't know if I have enough for the rope. Let's take a look. We do not. I think I have some rope on me, though. Not seeing any. Okay, let's go get some more plant fiber. Shouldn't be uh, too difficult. We just got to avoid the wolves. I'm hoping the bed will give me a respawn point. But it's kind of weird. They're not like... Does it say what it gives me? Hold on. I saw the bed somewhere. 
Um, rope fiber. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, this bed may not make the most uh, comfortable, but it acts as a respawn point. Okay. So yeah, we. I, honestly, I think I would want to make the bed first. So I will probably make the bed first. So I'm kind of nervous that they're going to give me a quest to craft a bed. And if I craft it before I get the quest credit, I'll have to make it again. So I, I think I'm just going to stick with the work workstation. I mean, the, the area I'll spawn isn't that far away. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stick with the workstation because I don't want to craft the bed and then be like, oh, now you craft the bed and the bed already crafted didn't count. What the hell just happened to me? Uh, un oh, skill points. Okay. All right. Another intelligence. We'll go one in strength. I'm going to be kind of like... I don't know what I'm going to enjoy most in this game. So for this character, I'm going to go kind of like uh, all across the board. All right. So let's go ahead and again, this inventory also like it's hard to see the inventory with the pop-ups, but it's fine. It's not that bad, but seven. Okay. Like this and we'll put this. Eh, I kind of want the bed there. Let's put this here. No, the bed can go right there, right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a good spot for that. Uh, it doesn't look like it lines up properly no matter what I do. Oh, boy, that's going to bother me. Uh, well, precise rotation, control. There you go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Collect more wood and craft planks. Ooh, planks, huh? All right, why are you not having me make a bed yet? The bed doesn't take planks, does it? Maybe it takes planks. No, it says wooden rope. Uh, I will uh, keep doing the game's um, progression in the order it's telling me to, so I don't accidentally do something I'm not supposed to. But, man, um, I kind of want to fight a wolf, too. <laughs> but we'll see. Let me grab some wood. I'm not sure if you could repair stuff. Um, I read something on Discord about repair kits being made or something, but I, I don't know where they... I haven't really looked for them, so I'm going to have to look into repair kits. But that's my second axe. That is broken. Honestly, these axes are not that expensive. Might not even be like be a big deal to just craft them again. But, you know, we'll see. Also, I did go ahead and make a bed because to hell with it. I want to fight a wolf before the end of this video. And I don't feel comfortable doing it on a nice spawn point close by. So we will put down the bed. And hopefully when that quest comes up. If the quest ever comes up, maybe it won't. But if the quest does come up, I'd like to... um, uh, I'd like to uh, hopefully get the credit for it. Do I have to do anything? Yeah, claim spawn. All right, cool. Very cool. Now we need to make eight planks. Oh, look at this. Crossbows, bolts, better stuff. Okay. Uh, planks. You get one for it. All right, so eight. Probably going to need eight for something special that they want me to do next. What is this? Oh, spoiled apples. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Uh, I guess I should be eating this. Uh, oh, that's spoiled. Never mind. Shouldn't be eating that. Uh, this is the good stuff. Ten hunger. Yeah, let's do that over over that. There we go. Eat up. And let's go ahead and have something to drink. Beautiful. And let's grab our eight planks. Take all. Um, build and place roof. Oh, okay. Ugh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, how am I even supposed to place a roof? Oh, roof takes planks. Oh yeah, look at that. 12 wood. Oh my god, that's expensive. I don't want to do these right now. I'd have to like get up on the roof to be able to do this. Uh, well, I could get up on the roof like that. Um. Alright, sure, why not. And then I could probably jump over from here. There we go. Oh, that's weird. I can't get on the roof. That's odd. Yeah, let's try again. There we go. All right, roof. Let's raise the roof. Okay, so I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Um, I guess these would probably, uh, like these right here, probably be the way to go. Okay, like that. And like that. And like that. So these quests, I think they all the roof pieces should count. Only certain roof pieces are counting. So what I got to do is now I got to tear up roof pieces and replace them. This is kind of the way I want the, the ceiling to go. So there we go. And six. And then we place one right here. 
There we go. And then one right there. And that's the quest. Craft and place a bed. See? Now I'm going to have to craft another bed. I knew this was going to happen. I freaking knew it. Oh, my goodness. got to be killing me. Killing me, game. All right, I'm going to leave that there for now. Can I pick up the bed? Or I should probably just break it. Yeah, I guess we got to break it. Damn it. And now I'm probably not going to have what I need to make another one. Uh, let's see. Nope. I need more rope and more wood. I don't think I got anything back from that bed. Maybe. I don't know. I wasn't really looking, so. All right, let me grab this stuff. Let's make the bed again. I'm going to have to play around with that roof a little bit. <laughs> but that's going to that's gonna be later. Um, what I want to do right now is I want to get a bed down. I want to try and kill a wolf. So let's, let's do that. Okay. And there is my bed. Well, there you go, guys. Don't make a bed unless you really, really want to. Because then you're going to just have to do it. Uh, for the quest again anyway. All right. There we go. Spawn point. Beautiful. All right. I'm not going to mess with a land claim. Let's go try and kill a wolf. Okay. How, how What's the range on these arrows? Couldn't tell if there's any arrow drop. I think there is. Yeah, it's got to be our drop. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I should have waited for more stamina. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to die. I forgot about stamina. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Hit him. I got no stamina. Oh, dude. That was so close considering I had zero stamina. All right, I want to try that again. Show you a uh, corpse run. This is the corpse run. Shows up on the map. Uh, I don't know how long it stays there. And that wolf, I don't think gets his hit points back either. So. I don't know if there's any experience loss or, or anything of that nature, but. See, the inventory is a little, little, little tough. It's a little tough to use. Uh, stone spear. Bow, and the arrow, oh, let's put our armor back on, and where are my arrows, I can't, I can't see anything, you can see what I'm mousing over something, I can't see anything above it, uh, flint arrows, okay, is that everything, nope, take all, I don't know why I didn't take everything, it's weird, all right, we're good, all right, we're good, let's finish this prick off, Dude, if I just waited for stamina, he would have been dead. Easily. There he goes. So there is an arrow drop. It's not crazy arrow drop, but there's definitely arrow drop. Feels like a good amount for arrow drops. We got blood, raw meat, leather, and uh, bones. Beautiful. All right, guys. I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you want to see more of this game, if you're excited and everything, make sure you uncage that like button. Let me know in the comments. All tips are more than welcome. And um, I'm going to be doing another video pretty much right away. So because I'm, I'm really kind of enjoying this game quite a bit. All right. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.